Welcome everyone to another test chamber. This is Star Fox Guard from Nintendo EPD. That's Entertainment Planning and Development and Platinum Games. Hello, I'm Andrew Reiner. Jeff Cork is playing the game. How's it going? Good. You've been playing a lot of this. Yeah. And the other game. And the other game, Star, Star Fox, Fox Zero. Zero. Yeah, this one, when the game launches, you'll be able to buy like a bundle that has Star Fox Zero. As well as this is a bonus. You can also buy it for $14.99 separately. And this is Tower Defense, right? Yeah, kind of. Kind of. Yeah, basically, you have a maze. You're working for Grippy, which is uh, Slippy's uh, uncle. And you've got, on the gamepad, you can't see it, but it's basically an overview numbered, kind of with the corresponding uh, camera views here. And then a bunch of robots are going to come in and try to steal some metal and resources from the little hub there. So right now, I've... We've got the lock-on weapon. Okay, and you're on the Wii U. We have the map. Yes. So you're you're not missing much. You're that. not missing much. No. And then basically you zoom there, and you can kind of bounce around and see where people are coming. So you kind of see it like if I look okay, on the he's floor. He's tapping the map to move around. Yeah. There's some so guys the coming quadrants. on four. Is there a way to just looking at the TV move between those? Uh, no. You need to. Tap on the the icon here because it's. Do you get to a point where you just know where you're tapping, like not looking down, like a guitar player, like you know what power chord you're I playing? I have not gotten to that part. I'm sure that there's some like super genius out there that is able to do that. So Shigeru Miyamoto is his name. Yeah, basically. So these cute little guys there, they will mess up your cameras if the, you allow them to get too close, and they do their their business. So you want to take care of them as soon as possible. Uh, the ones that will actually steal the resources, if you look in the center camera, those guys right there. The big, tall, blue ones. Yeah, Johnny number five. There you go. And you can see, like, the maze, the wall of the maze will obscure your view. Whoever designed these robots... Oh, eight! Look at eight! Uh, is kind of an He's idiot. trying to make it a little exciting for the viewer. There you go. Build faster robots. Build faster <laughs> robots, exactly. <laughs> or maybe don't have them take turns like that. It's almost like they were balanced for gameplay. There you go. Let's take a look at another maze. Okay. All right. Intruders are back. This they, is maze, what, two? Yes. They're very persistent. So basically what I'm doing here is I'm moving to this, uh, the camera number six, which kind of has a nice overview of everything. And I've switched to the lock-on camera. You can have, like, one special camera so active you were, at a time. If you looked over on the right there, you were moving the camera mm -hmm. with the analog stick. Yep. Uh, okay. So, I'm gonna try so this you can strategy. go into first person here in that center frame, too. Yeah, the center frame is kind of the camera that is active at Okay, because before you were looking at it, you were like an overhead view of your camera. All right, so we'll do here. Oh, man. These what guys here, that? you want to shoot them, they turn into a ball, and then you want to shoot them so they go away because they will turn into like that cloud of pink smoke that will obscure what's ahead. So they're kind of sneaky that way. All right, I got my eyes just locked on number nine. Number nine? I'll let you know if anything happens at number nine. All right, so... I'm not going to look at anything else. Okay. Just number nine. So you're kind of a special... Hey, number nine! Number nine, ball! Okay, I don't want to pay attention to that. Uh, number nine's getting kind of hairy, man. There's three dudes. Man, I picked a good number. Yeah. Jeff, there are four guys. They're all coming in. Oh, boy. He's looking right at me. He just turned. See, that guy's bouncing around. He takes a lot of shots, but he's... Not taking a very efficient route. What frame rate are these cameras running at? I think it's supposed to be simulating a really crappy uh, right. security camera. Mm -hmm. So not great. That's what we'll say. And when they get knocked out, you get all kinds of weird staticky effects and everything. So, so if you want to be corny, like I do sometimes, just find a nice view like this, and then get your lock on camera and kind of overlook it. Hey, that was a ball. Ta -da. Well, that was that was it. <laughs> there you go. So afterwards yeah, here, we guys skip. in there. Yeah, those are like the little. They're running away though. So afterwards, you'll get kind of a rundown here, visually showing the different waves and how you succeeded. This frog runs around and he will pick up the the metal for you and sing a happy little tune. It's pretty great. Nintendo's good with fake rank. voices. There you go. You gotta gotta do those fake voices here. Oh, I'm backflip. Yep. <laughs> it's a nice extra flourish there. 
Okay, so what am I doing, Jeff? Reiner, you're going to take on the boss of Corneria. I've, I've never played this game. You're going to be fine. Basically, the, the controls are move the analog stick on the left to move the camera, and uh, any button will fire. Okay. So there you go. Any button. Any bu- Well, any button on the Wii U game controller. No, I'm the just going to jam on the anything. home button. There you go. Just jam on the home button. You might consider holding the power button. Okay, so too. now, yeah, see. So right I'm now looking, you're on number one. So I know, but I'm looking down. Mm-hmm. Oh, so then you begin. Yep. And there we go. And go. I blew it. There is an intruder. All my cameras suck. Oh, man. You're not going to believe what you want to aim at. Uh, Probably that little gate on the front of him down at the bottom. Yeah, why not? Go for it. Slippy! Yeah. Oh, cameos. He's lost his voice in this particular game, but that's okay. Well, all right, you're in one. Oh my god, look at it. Hey, look I hit go. his eye and it's doing damage. Oh. What's that mean? Oh, oh, don't worry about it. So now he's jumped number 10. Camera uh, 10. Um, okay. There you go. You got Whoa. it, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Angry eyes. Yeah. He means business for sure. He wants all that ore. So you're working on your Star Fox Zero review as well, right? It's true. Okay, where is he? Number three. Okay, they don't show them on the map, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, between rounds, you'll kind of get, like, on the map, it'll show you kind of a an estimated, here's the path that they'll take or where they'll be coming from, so you can kind of figure out where to put your special camera and all that jazz. But for the most part, you just got to pay attention. 12! And uh, the map, by the way, is not laid out like the TV screen. So no, you no. you got to kind of look around. It's it's kind of like a a map of the area. In Turn the, your head. The, the maze, so... What? Oh my god, your camera is gone. One. Number one, you can do it. He's almost dead, too. So did you give Star Fox Zero a zero just as a joke? That's actually not a bad idea. Uh, Miyamoto would get a kick out of that. I think, I think people like jokes, right? Yeah. I hope so. One. I can do this. So I based all this on. There you go. Oh man, he just has a tiny sliver of health. Maybe he's... He's gone angry. Oh! Oh, this is not looking good, buddy. 12. You can do it. Oh, here we go. This is the last bit. He's done for. I guarantee it. Oh. But wait. Phase this, two? Well, kind of. It's a very dramatic. What? If you hadn't kept shooting, he would have done like a really dramatic dive toward the camera in slow motion, but you were too good. So I had Just basically 12 lives. Essentially. <laughs> Did yeah. you ever even come close to losing on that? No. Oh, I want to play with the frog. Wait, you don't. He just does his own thing. Oh. So, yeah, Star Fox Guard. Uh, it's a interesting bonus. Yeah. Interesting bonus. I don't know that if you've got fourteen ninety nine sitting on your lap. I don't know if I would necessarily aim it at the at, eShop at, for this. At Star Fox Guard? Uh, Maybe not. Maybe. Thanks for playing, Reiner. Yeah, you're great. Thanks, thanks for showing me this. Yeah. Fire 